catch me in your side. Riding down 17, how about I say my ride there? J Marquis, J Marquis live in the flesh, ladies and gentlemen. Hop Town, Leesburg, stand up, baby. All right. J Marquis, what's good with you, bro? What's good, bro? What's good, man? Just working, man. Trying to be like you when I grow up. Hey, man. Hey, man. I'm a good guy to want to be like, man. But hey, I ain't gonna tell you to be like me, though. <laughs> That's what's up. So tell everybody uh, where you're from, man. Hey man, I'm from Hopkins, man. Leesburg Road, man. You know, Hop Town. You know, I consider Hopkins. To me, Hopkins is G Ferry on down, all the way down to the end of Hopkins. You know what I mean? Leesburg Road is where I was born and raised. 3620 Lee Hills Drive, right off off Trotter. You know what I mean? Uh, 48. You know, I got family in 48. You know, you know, I feel like all that's connected, at least with me and, and, and my family, with my family set up. You know what I mean? Uh, but, you know, that's where I'm from, man. Uh, shout out to everybody out here grinding, you know what I mean, that we watch me grow up playing basketball now in front of cameras, dealing with cameras and actually doing music now, you know. Uh, everybody has their own little journey coming where I'm from, you know. And it's good to see other people coming up, you know, that you grew up with. But they still grinding. You see them grinding in another light, you know. Like he thought he was doing this, but he doing this, and you know, it's just, it's all good, man, you know. So go ahead and tell everybody how it was like, you know, growing up um, in, in Little Richland, man. Oh, man, uh, to be honest with you, man, it, it was, it was, it was just like a, any order, any ordinary day in the hood, or, you know, growing up, you know, I went to school with everybody I knew, you know what I mean? Uh, I grew up in uh, off Leesburg, you know, 3620 Lee Hills Drive. Uh, then I moved around like nine and ten. I moved to Berkeley Forest, and I pretty much stayed there t uh, throughout my high school days. Okay. I ended up leaving LR and going to Drear. Okay. I graduated from Drear. Okay. So, kind of tell us, uh, you know, I think you actually are the first. Male R&B artist that has been on DME TV. So, kind of tell us your roots as far as like music. All right. Well, that's funny. That's that's actually um, it's an honor, first of all, to be a part of a uh, part of the movement. You know, uh, with me, with uh, I used to I used to always write something like I used to go home. You know, if I was home by myself, I was in the mirror. Singing, making them own songs to everybody. No, nobody really knew that, you know what I mean? Because I picked and choose when I did it. You know, at that time it was like I don't nobody to see, I don't nobody to know. They might think I'm crazy. They might think I'm, you know. So um, it wasn't until I lost my mama actually, you know what I mean? Uh, fresh out of high school, I was going to Clapham University. You know, didn't even finish a whole semester. You know, uh, October fourth, my mom passed in a uh, car accident. Wow. So you know. Um, I tell people this all the time, man. I, I I wouldn't, I wouldn't, I would never say I'm happy to lose my mom, or you know, I, you know, it's okay to lose your mom because it's not, you know what I mean? It's, it's totally not, you know what I mean? Uh, tell people all the time, cherish their mother, you know, treat their mother good, no matter what status she's in. I don't care what it is. If she on dope, I don't care. She, you know, cut she out of your morning. I don't care what it. I don't care what it is, man. Cherish your mother or whatnot, you know. Um, but in my situation, it made me a better. It made me a man. It made I, I was walking around thinking I was a man. You know, what I mean, I was walking around. You know, I went from good soul food every time. You know, what I mean, to getting taken here, taking there. You know, what I mean, bills paid. You know, to I gotta do everything just like that. So it made you, made you grow up fast. I grew up so fast, man. Age of 19, man. And I, I remember being at a crossroads, you know, like what you gonna do, and some say go do music. Cause at the time, basketball was all it was, but I was right. playing basketball to put my mama in the house. Put right. my mama in the house. So it was like, dang, what am I doing basketball for? I wasn't getting paid for it. 
I was still going to finish school, another go four, five more years yeah. before I could see any kind of money. So, so I, I went to the music, man. Yeah. I went to the music and I started singing seriously at the age of 19. I took it serious, wrote my, started writing, wrote my first album, High On Life. That's on you know, YouTube, High On Life, J. Marquis. You know, um, I've got a YouTube channel, J. Marquis Live. Or you just go Jamie Blackman, Jamie M. Blackman. Um, so, yeah. so, so losing your mother kind of pushed you towards the music, the music thing. Yeah, most definitely. It, it, it was, it was most definitely like you know, it's just, it's just pretty much the relationship I had with my mother. I couldn't really just go ask her about it. It was like I had to kind of just know or what, or I had to take what she's always told me to answer the question for her. You know, I remember a couple times. You know, I was in the car, you know, my auntie or something like that. And, my brothers and they and I might be singing or something. And I remember one time, my mama, she, my auntie was like, "I hear you, Jay." <laughs> my mom was like, "Jamie can't sing. You know, Jay can't sing." And I was like, Damn, "I don't even know, know, like, you know, <laughs> she don't even know I really can't sing, <laughs> you know." But it was crazy. And I remember another time she asked me because she found out I'd be writing movies and stuff like screenplays. She took me, she took me to. Uh, 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 Tyler Perry's plays and whatnot, with her all the time, you know what I mean? And that's, I already was writing plays, but that kind of put me in the like, okay, this is how I go, you know? So she found out I like to write plays and stuff like that, you know? She told me, she said, um, she asked me, she was like, you ever, you ever thought about changing your name? And I had time, man, I'm thinking like, you know, what, what she asked me that for? You know what I mean? Like, dang, she don't want me to have her. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. I ain't know how to take it, you know? But when I asked myself, like, is this what I want to do? Those was some of the things that I had to do. Like, think back on stuff like that. Yeah. So so tell us what, you know, what inspires you to write, you know, uh, you know, to start writing, like, a particular song. What inspires you? Um, man, to be honest with you, I have music running through me all day. You know, all day. You know, it sounds running through me all day. I, I hear a melody all day. I hear something all day. You know what I mean? Music on, music, music not on. But I'm, as far as the writing is concerned, I'm more inspired by what I see and like what I hear. Like I hear conversations between people, and then I hear, I, I see them interact, and then I, I wonder why. Is is not right, you know. Sometimes you're right. I be seeing people argue with the facts and argue with something that you can you can see yourself, you know yourself, but people fight with that. So you right. know, I kind of I, I, I like to you know go off of that. Okay. So do you, do you consider yourself an R&B artist? Nah, 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 nah. Actually, I have a uh, album I'm working on now. You know, called R&B Real and Black. You know, so R and B, that's how I look at R and B, like with me, like I feel like I am R and B, you know, but it's real and black. You know, I give it to you real and black. But I'm more soulful, you know, neo soul, you know, hip hop, hip hop, you know, I don't like to put a genre on it because it's certain things I I like. I like to do a lot of stuff. Even though know, I know I'm not gonna sing a certain song, I write it. I'll write a song, you never know, you know, that song could go to somebody else. I might keep think that this voice fits better with this song. Or that song just ain't gonna fit my path for what I'm trying to do, where I'm trying to go. You know, so I, I, I don't put myself in no box, I do a lot of different things, you know. Okay. So I'm having have a written song and have somebody else sing it. Oh yeah. yeah.